Can you create a resume from your LinkedIn profile? The short answer is yes. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how. So there's two ways that you can use LinkedIn to get a resume. First, you can download your LinkedIn profile content into a PDF document. This includes things like your work experience, education, and summary. And second, you can utilize LinkedIn's resume builder to edit and make adjustments to your resume before downloading it from your LinkedIn profile. In order in order to utilize both features, you need to have content in your LinkedIn profile. So step one is to ensure that your LinkedIn profile is up to date with things like your work history and education before you move on to the next steps. With that said, let's head over to LinkedIn so I can show you exactly how to utilize both features. Okay, so I'm currently in my LinkedIn profile. I'm going to head over to my profile. So click on me, view profile. I'm going to click on where it says more right underneath my headline. And the first option is to save to PDF. So I want to click on that. And what LinkedIn is going to do is download my profile into a PDF document. So let's take a look at how that looks. So you could see here we have my name because I have symbols next to my name. That's why you see these hashtags on your profile. This probably wouldn't be the case. We have my headline, the summary exactly as it is on LinkedIn. We have my contact details on the left hand side, top skills, languages, certification applications, honors, and awards. So again, these are all the sections that I have currently in my LinkedIn profile that LinkedIn just pulled into a PDF document. I could see here, this is one of six pages. So as I scroll down, we could still see a lot of this is my summary. All of these hashtags are links that I have in my summary section. My experience section has been pulled here as well. The company that I work for, the amount of time that it's been, my job title, and then the dates of employment. I Underneath here, this is what I have in the description section under my work experience. So for each of my roles, it's simply just included everything that I have underneath every one of my roles. And then right at the bottom, you will see education with my degree at the bottom. So it is pretty heavy. Six pages is not ideal for a resume, but depending on what content you currently have in your resume, this could be a quick way to just grab the information on your profile if you need to submit a resume somewhere. Let's take a look at the second way, which is using LinkedIn's resume builder. It's important to know that not everybody has this feature available. So when you log into your profile, if you click more and you do not see build a resume here, which is what we are going to use to build the resume builder. If you don't see it, it means that your profile doesn't have the functionality as yet. LinkedIn does release new features and test them. So don't stress too much. If you don't have it, it's probably that LinkedIn is still rolling out the feature onto your profile. But if you do have it, you want to click on build a resume on your profile. So again, I've clicked on more. The first option we used was save to PDF. And then the second option is build a resume. And it wants now to prompt me through the exact steps to build out this resume. So first, as it says, I could upload a resume or the second, I could create it from my profile. So I'm going to click on create from profile. It's asking me to choose my desired job title. This is important. Um, it's actually going to give you some recommendations and tips down the line. So I do highly recommend that you insert the job title here. So, so for example, I just say career coach, I'm going to click apply. And now I am in preview mode. So what I could do is edit the various sections of my profile so that it looks more like a resume. It's important to know, this is super important. The changes will not update my profile. So any changes that I'm making in LinkedIn's resume builder are just so that I could download this as a PDF and utilize it as a resume. Any of the edits I make here are not going to change my actual LinkedIn profile. So for example, let me walk you through how I would update this. So first I would edit my name. Okay. And again, this is not going to edit any part of my LinkedIn profile. Show LinkedIn profile link, I would say yes. Okay, so I've edited that. My summary section, I would edit as well because it is pretty long and has a lot of links. I want it to simply be catered to the role that I want to apply for. 
What's great here is I can click on the pencil button and that allows me to edit the different sections. You can see here that LinkedIn also gives you quick tips. So it says what to write about in your summary section. You can write about your experience, your skills, career highlights, and it tells you how to write. Keep it up to three or four bullets, use action verbs as well. So I love the tips that LinkedIn gives you as you are building out your resume. You can make any edits that you want here and then just click save and you could see that it is going to update that on what is now known as your new resume. I would go all the way down, edit the experience section as well, just to make sure that everything is in alignment, education, licenses and certifications, skills. Maybe you want to add some more skills here that are relevant to the job that you want to apply for. Honors and awards, I would probably remove quite a lot of these out of here if I was building out a resume. And another area I want to point you to is, which is actually a premium feature, I could see some resume insights. So if you do have LinkedIn premium, it can actually give you some suggestions on what to add to your quote unquote resume that you are building out here um, in order for you to match more closely to the job title that you inserted in the beginning. So here it says resume insights, keyword check for the desired job title of career coach. So it says these are the three skills that they found in my resume already, career counseling, resume writing leadership. And then these are additional suggested keywords that they recommend that I add to my resume. So what I could do is I could add these keywords into the skills section or into the summary section, because this is going to help me boost my ATS scores and make sure that my resume is highly tailored and applicable to the role I want to apply for. You can also see with LinkedIn's resume builder, the format is a little bit different from the PDF one that we downloaded, right? So once I am finished editing this resume, I'm going to click at the top where it says more and I'm going to download as a PDF. I could edit the name, actually before you download it, you want to edit the name here. So I would just put resume and then I could say my first and last name and just click save. That way when I do download it, it downloads with this name. I could always edit that at a later time as well. So when I open up my new resume that I've built using LinkedIn's resume builder, I could see it looks different from the previous one that we downloaded. I actually quite like this format. It's very clean. We have my contact details at the top, the summary section, the experience, experience. Note that it does have um, the images here. So this would essentially be the logo of the company. If your company has a LinkedIn page, a lot of this is still included here. They add your name and the page number as well. Education, uh, licenses and certification, skills, honors and awards. So we were able to get this still to six pages. So I would do a lot more editing if this was a resume that I was going to be using to apply for a job. One to two pages is great. Three pages at most maximum if you have that many years of experience that you want to showcase. So those are the ways that you could utilize LinkedIn's resume builder as well as just simply downloading your resume as a PDF. Super important to know that LinkedIn is simply taking the content that is currently on my profile. So if my profile is not optimized or it is not up to date with my work history, education, etc., this wouldn't be helpful at all and I wouldn't really be able to use this resume feature as well. But what's nice is how you're able to customize this and instantly download a resume that you could tweak and tailor uh, based on the job that you're applying for. There you have it. I hope that you found this video useful on how to get a PDF resume from LinkedIn. If you did find it helpful, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. And because you stayed right until the end, I have a free download for you. I want you to grab my LinkedIn for Job Seekers starter kit, where I lay out step by step on exactly how to utilize LinkedIn to land your next best career opportunity. Click the link right below this video and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.